today we are here at Terralina Crafted Italian Restaurant. This will be our first time dining at this particular restaurant. This is going to be our date night and a dining review as well. So hopefully you'll enjoy and hopefully you are all welcome to come and join us for dinner. So I started our evening with some drinks while we wait. It looks like they're a little bit busy today. It's a Friday night, so of course a little busy, but it's okay because we're having a couple of cool drinks. I'm having the Italian margarita with amaretto. So according to the bartender, he did state that it's a little bit sweeter than normal margaritas and it does not have any kind of sugar or salt around the rim, but that is fine as well. I'm okay with this. It looks delicious. Let's try this baby. Oh my goodness. I never had a margarita with amaretto in it. Ooh, it is. I can taste the sourness, kind of the margarita, but I can also taste that little sweet amaretto flavor in it. Oh wow, this is delicious. Mm, very delicious. Really good drink to start off our evening. Okay, and here I have the Lemoncello uh, Mojito. Uh, I do love mojitos, and this is the Italian version of it. Mm. So I'm ready to go ahead and drink this up. As you can see, there's pieces of lemons in there, hence the word Lemoncello. And of course, and of course the Mojito Mint. So the good. The red I, leaves, yeah. those look so good. Can't wait to try it. Cheers. Oh man, you can taste the lemon. Um, sweet like a sweet lemon mixed with the mojito liqueur oh, so good and the and it's, of course it has the mint taste at the end mm -hmm. I highly recommend if you guys love mojitos definitely try this limoncello mojito it's the best I love it oh my god <laughs> I do give you I like how cute they give you like a little bag so you can put your mask in and that way your mask is not hanging out all dirty anywhere so this is cute i like that they give you a little bag here for that we had nick here who was very nice enough to since they're a little busy he came over explained the menu for us since it's our first time here uh gave us a couple of suggestions on the on the wine because i do i am having a seafood uh today italian seafood uh meal so of course it, it needs to be paired up with white wine so he gave me three different choices to try so this is my first choice here i think this is a le, le contins i can't even pronounce it right so i'm sorry i'm not that good with all the italian names so let's try this one and see if i like this one i i'm testing to see because i like fruity drinks so i'm gonna see i don't like dry nothing dry i don't like So it's a little bit more dry. It's not bad, but it's not too fruity. So let me go with the, I believe this one is a satellite Sauvignon. So let me try the satellite. This one apparently is a little bit sweeter. Let's see. Mm, it is a little bit sweeter. This one better so far and then the last one I believe is a uh, story point so I believe he said it was a story point or the Tremin I'm not sure which one it is but I believe it's a story point here let's try this one actually I like this one better this is it so this is gonna be the one I'm gonna I'm gonna drink with my meal or pair up with my meal, with my seafood meal. Okay, and here's a list of the, when you get your menus, you have your wine menu here as well. So you can see you have all your whites here in the top. I'm getting the satellite. Actually, I like the satellite the best. So that's gonna be the, the white wine that I'm gonna have paired up with my seafood meal today. And then we have the Italian white in the bottom. And then you also have the Italian reds here. So there's a couple of different, uh, different, different wines that are really good. You also have your sparkling wines in the back. You have your roses. You have your old world red, your old world white, new world white. And then you definitely have your new world red. So you have a couple of different, a lot of choices here 
when it comes down to the actual wine list. All right, so here's the actual menu. So as you already saw, before we got into the actual restaurant, we already had the limon limoncello mojito, which is what Paul had, and I had the Italian margarita. And uh, there's also a couple of sangrias and a couple other drinks there. Uh, there's also some non-alcoholic beverages as well. And you have a little square here, and this little square has all the goody desserts. And then here you have your beers. They do have some wonderful beers here as well, some craft, craft bottles as well, craft cans, and then your imported Italian craft beers as well. I'm gonna have the seafood bucatini, and then Paul's gonna have the, the spaghetti bolognese. And he's adding the two regular meatballs, so. Let's see how that is. We're excited to taste this flavorful Italian food. They also have some really delicious sides here. It looks like you can get some broccoli, some mashed potatoes, grilled asparagus, grilled vegetables, and they have some mashed potato planks as well. Chicken, shrimp, and salmon. So you can add a couple of side dishes as well with your meal. And then the last thing on the menu is the sandwiches. So if you don't want to have anything heavy, you can have some light sandwiches here. And along with your meal, they do serve this wonderful bread, Italian bread here. Look at how delicious this looks. And it looks like it comes with some uh, special olive oil. And uh, it looks like it's some kind of butter. But it looks so good. And I love me some Italian bread with the olive oil. I love that. That is delicious. Can't wait to try this bread. For appetizers, we're going to have the mozzarella rice stuff balls. This was recommended by Nick who's a manager here at the uh, restaurant and it looks so delicious. Oh my goodness look at all this fat cheese here and these are like huge so we're excited to try this. As you can see this is so cheesy and so good and like it melts right in your plate here so I'm gonna try it here. Oh my goodness there's so much cheese in it. It looks so good. And then I'm gonna try and dip it in this little sauce here. It's like a little tomato sauce here. Let's try it and see. Oh my God. It like melts in your mouth. It's soft. I can feel a little rice. The rice inside, but the cheese and the rice mixed together, it's like, not gushy but it's like moist and good and it's like oh it is so good flavorful too and i like the crunchiness on the outside of the breaded rice really good we're gonna try now the uh, mozzarella rice filling mm, that's super cheesy <laughs> go ahead and go ahead and dip it into the marinara sauce having trouble because <laughs> it's nice and soft yeah, it's okay. good mm. wow oh, like the rice mouse. mixed with the mozzarella fried over it it's so kind of like a mozzarella stick filled with rice nice. really good really good recommend it <laughs> let me try this seafood delicious magical plate here because there's so much seafood in here wow this is beautiful. These mussels look amazing. And let me try this now because this, this is delicious. Let me cut a little bit in here. Oh, it looks very juicy. Okay, let me put my... Well, first let me try this little mussel here. Or scallop, actually. Mmm. Scallop, very flavorful. Let me try the little mussel here. Oh, looks so good. Mm. And now let me try the shrimp here. Mm. It has a little bit of kick. Let me try the, the noodles here or the pasta. Let me try this. Uh, Okay, ready? One. Oh my god. This is 
delicious. It has like a winey, vinegary flavor to it. It has a little bit of kick at the end. And then the mussels are good. Like the mixture of the seafood, it's like really good. I can taste a little, a little bit of heat at the end, but it's really, really good. So it's delicious. My seafood bucatini, it does have fresh mussels, shrimp, scallops. It also has spicy lemon tomato broth, and then the grilled garlic baguette. So the little broth, tomato broth is what gives it that little heat that little kick but boy it is amazing it's really fantastic dish so i highly recommend this dish my spaghetti bolognese it comes with the beef pork pancetta meat sauce tomato and parmesan cream and i added two meatballs to complement the spaghetti so best of both worlds pork and beef wow Time to get digging. <laughs> to get a nice full fork of pasta here. Mm. Spaghetti is thick and cooked very well. The bolognese, the pork, mm, so delicious. I'm gonna bite into the meatball right now. Those are big meatballs. Big, big meatballs, oh yeah. I'm gonna mix it with some of the pasta here. Mmm. Mm. <laughs> nice and thick the meatballs. Seasoned very well. You saw I sprinkled it with some Parmesan cheese. This bolognese is to die for. I definitely recommend it. If you guys like spaghetti meatballs, I'm very traditional. Definitely this is the plate to get. Definitely, definitely. Delicious. For dessert, we're having the bread pudding with caramel sauce and it comes with ice cream whipped cream and as you can see it has raspberries blueberries and strawberries this looks so delicious i'm gonna try the bread pudding so let's see how good it tastes oh my goodness it looks so good getting a little bit of that caramel let me get a, a little raspberry in there all right let's try this oh my goodness the caramel is delicious with the bread pudding and the fruit just gives it that little extra oomph. Really good. Nice and moist. Very sweet. And now I'm getting my espresso. Single shot espresso to pair it up with my dessert. Bread pudding time. Let's see. I love bread pudding. Mm, that looks nice so and delicious. hot I with, told you it was with delicious. a nice raspberry here. Mmm. Wow, that bread pudding is so soft, it's warm, mixed with the with the fruits. Now let me try it with some ice cream on top. Yeah, the warm and the ice cream. That the hot extra. and cold. Mm. <laughs> so good. Mm. Really good, right? Mm. And oh. mixed with the fruit. So good. So that strawberry. Mm. The tanginess of the strawberry mixed with the sweetness of the bread pudding and the vanilla ice cream delicious perfect dessert to end our meal so as you can see this is the aftermath of the dessert it's gone and this was one for both of us but that bread pudding was fantastic it was delicious it was sweet it was so moist the hot with the cold mixture and the fruits it was really good everything here tonight was how i would say magtastic it was really delicious uh, the price of the food was anywhere between $22 and $28 for each one of the plates that we had. Like Paul's was about $22, mine's was about $28. Uh, plus, of course, we had some. I had some wine, the white wine, which was really good, uh, the satellite wine. And um, uh, Paul also had some sweet tea. And uh, of course, I had an espresso that was accompanied by my dessert, which was good. And then um, remember, we had those awesome drinks. Oh yeah, and then the we had those yeah. awesome drinks before we we actually uh, sat down inside the restaurant. So while we were waiting, uh, Paul had the mojito and I had the margarita, both Italian versions. It was wonderful and delicious. Um, in the beginning, it was a. Uh, a little bit of a delay because it is again it is a friday night so they tend to get very busy it, it is a very popular restaurant here it is italian so it's one of the best restaurants here and uh you know besides like boathouse and 
Homecoming. So there's a lot of great restaurants here in Disney Springs, but I definitely recommend coming to Terralina, Italian, uh, crafted Italian restaurant. Give it a try. This is our first time. I have nothing negative to say. So far, the meal was wonderful. The service was wonderful. Nick, the manager, was really incredible uh, with the, with the uh, information about the meal. Uh, it was good. I mean, the customer service also by Crystal was fantastic as well. She was a great waiter. Uh, yeah. The food came yeah, out right away as soon as we sat down. There was like a five minute, 10 minute delay, but nothing like, oh my God, you know, I'm waiting here forever. No, it was nothing like that. Nick came right over, gave us information. We got our drinks and everything right away. And then, of course, Crystal came in, got our food. I mean, the appetite, we weren't even finished with the appetizer. And we were already getting our actual uh, entree. So it was really good. Fantastic place to come. It is very family oriented. Nothing fancy. Uh, they do have a very large wine selection here. So as you can see from uh, previous information with the menu. So there's a lot of wine choices, beer choices. Uh, the selection, the plate that I had apparently, the seafood plate that I had tonight, the seafood meal I had was apparently only been here only a couple of days so it's brand new and then Paul's was also brand new as well so it's 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 like kind of popular uh, suggestion here for Paul but it was really good I mean everything was suggested by Nick the manager it was wonderful I have nothing again like I said great review for this restaurant highly recommend to come check it out for yourself and then, uh, you know, let us know, comment below. Let us know how you feel, if you love Italian or if you ever been here before. Let us know how was your review of this restaurant. Everything was fantastic. If you like and enjoy this video and our dining reviews, we do dining reviews. We try to do at least once a week or at least two, twice a month as, as long as we're able to do them. Um, but usually if you like this vlog and you like these type of videos, uh, let us know if you want more, but I know we definitely, uh, more of these videos, uh, we definitely are planning in the future to make more, to have more dining reviews. We love food, we enjoy trying out different uh, restaurants, different styles of food. Disney Springs is definitely one of the places where you can come out and try different restaurants and do dining reviews. So we're actually doing that starting this month. We started coming out to uh, Disney Springs and trying out their different restaurants. This is the third one we do. Uh, you can also check out our blog about homecoming uh, restaurant. You can also check out the boathouse as well, which was one of our last. I'm going to link it down below in the description so you guys can see both of those. And I'm also going to, uh, of course, definitely share this one with you. This is a wonderful place to come. I hope that you enjoyed this video, you had a great time with us, and make sure that you like, share, and subscribe. And if you're, if, if you're new to our channel, and if you're not new to our channel, you already subscribed, thank you so much for your support. I'm glad that you are enjoying our videos, and again, hopefully for next year, for the future coming up, we'll have a lot more like this, if you definitely like it. So, thank you again for coming along this uh, fantastic dining review and actually it was our date night tonight it is Friday night so we try to get at least one night off to ourselves but we enjoy doing this and sharing this and this this great dining reviews with you so thank you again for coming along our trip and we'll see you next time on Mactastic Productions see you next time bye